Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. Today I have a 2016 Dodge Charger X police unit and I will try to show you and record how to uh, install the original middle console. Now I got one from the salvage. It's uh, right here. They should fit from 2011 all the way up to 2021. Uh, this console I got is from 2012 Dodge Charger SXT and hopefully it's gonna fit in my x police unit. So yes, this video should apply to Dodge Chargers, the 7th generation, made from 2011 all the way up to 2019. Now this console, I have all the parts pretty much except for the shifter cover which goes uh, right here. I'm still waiting for, for that, I had to get it to eBay because Salvage wouldn't sell it to me. They sell it with the shifter assembly, so once I install all this, I still have a hole here, but on eBay for I, I think 70-80 bucks, you can buy a nice, nice cover that just clips in and then uh, that's gonna look good. Okay, so this is pretty much what you need. That piece uh, that covers the shifter area, it's called uh, shifter bezel actually, so shifter console trim, bezel trim. Okay, so this is how my charger looks right now. It does have some kind of console here or whatever this is. Um, so first I will try to remove this and then I will start with the installation. I'm doing this for the first time on a Dodge Charger, so if I make a couple of mistakes, uh, I apologize in advance. Okay, so I will start by removing uh, this 10 millimeter nut right here. As far as I can see, this is the only thing that's holding this console on this side. Okay, so this is the nut. And once that is removed, this piece is completely loose and you can pretty much just pull it towards yourself and separate it. There are still two clips holding it in place right here and here, but that's it, easy to remove. Okay, now there is a bunch of wires here hanging loose. Um, to be honest, I have no idea what all that is. It's still probably leftovers from uh, previous police equipment. They had their own console installed here and things like that. So it's just best idea not to touch it. If you see any loose ends or stuff like that, maybe just uh, use some tape around it to make sure there is no shorts. Okay, now the first thing to do would be to remove these two black Phillips screws, this one and this one. This piece has to go off because your new console will actually mount at that point. So you'll have one screw going here and one here, but I will show you uh, once I remove this uh, plastic piece. Okay, so this is the piece that was there and now you can pretty much move your new console and align the holes just like this both sides and it should fit nicely and what you will do you can reuse those two same black screws to tighten up your new console so one screw will go here and one will go here okay once those two screws are in okay i'll zoom out a bit so you can see the console is actually in the next thing to do, I got this piece with the console, which actually will just pop in right here. It, it's gonna have two clips on the back side, which will, which will just pop in into these two holes, this one and this one. And then two screws will go here and here. Now, unfortunately, I have um, a power outlet right here but I don't see any kind of cable that would plug in into that. 
so that's that's beyond my knowledge i will try to fix that in the future i have a guy who is good with electrical and power and stuff like that so most likely some of these wires will have to be reconnected or something maybe a couple of harnesses are missing um but yeah like i said in this video i'm just gonna show you how to install the middle console like all the power points and stuff like that unfortunately it's like i said beyond my knowledge okay so this will just pop in here one side other side and now two black screws will go here the salvage that got me the console supplied me with all the parts so that's the next thing to do okay now once this part is installed now i have to secure the console at the rear end because it's completely loose now this is not too hard also you will need four of these 10 millimeter screws and what you have to do you have to align the middle console with the holes okay i'll just turn the flash on my phone um okay so pretty much there are four holes down there which should align with the holes on your charger okay mine are almost aligned and this is the location where you will screw in those four 10 millimeter screws okay now once all these screws are in the middle console will be completely tight tight now the next thing there is this cover that goes inside here it should just pop in just like that so those screws are not visible and now this is everything that's actually holding the middle console to the vehicle because it's very very tight and now i still have to install those side pieces okay so like i said now the side pieces also got both of the side pieces from the salvage so this one should just pop in right here like this okay let me zoom it out i'll have to use both of my hands like there is a bunch of these small plastic clips on the on the rear end so it just pops in into into all these these holes okay so this is it it all popped in nicely i'll show you from this side as well so like i said just a couple of these clips and they each of them has its own hole so you just have to pretty much press it in and same thing on the other side as well okay so i've got the other side done, done as well and this is pretty much pretty much everything that you have to do I'll show you from this side as well yeah, it's very dirty and everything but it's got a, gonna be cleaned now like I said I'm still missing I'm still missing this middle piece right here now like originally there is a shifter here but since this is X police vehicle the shifter is up here and and the salvage the salvage just didn't want to sell me that cover that goes here and surrounds the shifter now uh i had it ordered it's gonna be here in a week or two what i will do i'll just go to my laptop and i will uh, record a video there and i will just show you what you have to get in case you're also missing this piece it's not a big deal you can either get just that piece from the from any any charger but, but then you will have like a small hole here where the shifter is or you can just get it uh, guys from china sell the complete piece without the hole without the shifter for, for police vehicles it's like i don't know 60 70 80 bucks and it just clips in so there is no screws there is no anything same stuff like this it just pops in and once you have this then you have a complete console pretty much okay so this is pretty much what you need that piece uh, that covers the shifter area it's called the uh, shifter bezel actually so shifter console trim bezel trim um, you can get this one 
they ship this from China so it's gonna take maybe like a month or so to to get to you but it's gonna cover your your hole in case you have a police charger and you have that shifter uh, up on top now this is your other option if you go with just the regular trim basil but then you will have a hole where the shifter was but you can always figure something out and cover that hole with something and then you can just just buy this piece like unfortunately my salvage didn't want to sell me that but if you find a salvage that's willing to sell you only this part separately go for it okay thank you for watching this video i hope it was at least a bit helpful if it was please like it and consider subscribing and joining my youtube automotive channel on my channel there is lots of how-to videos do-it-yourself videos car reviews product reviews and other similar automotive topics